Yeah, we'll go again. Uh, Snow's Edge. Just uh, on a bit of a journey to one, I've got to see a customer today. Um, well, I see him on the way or on the way back. I'm not sure yet. But um, it's not a bad morning. I really enjoyed my uh, trip to Cumbria on Friday. Um, that was a nice day out. I even seen the uh, I was told about it being over in that direction, but uh, you could see it clear as day on Friday. Nearly up to the 68. I'm just going up to uh, a new walk I was meant to do weeks ago up at Hexham. Just came over the Broomhoff roundabout, coming up the road to 69 now. And this little car in front, I've been following it for ages, just kind of get past it. Every time I've had a chance, it's either been double white lines or traffic coming. But anyway. Saying goodbye to it in a couple of minutes when we get onto the ES69, just round the corner here. Well, back up at Hexham. Um, just near the roundabout. <coughs> I'm not turning left and going into Hexham this time, I'm actually going past and through Hexham out the other side, not far out the other side, but just out the other side, to get to uh, that pub, just over the bridge, because that's where the walk starts from there. The people are still working today, I like. Not many, but there's a few. Crane drivers don't seem to be working today. Coming along for sure. Well, I need to move over to the left again. I'm not far away now, like just a couple of miles, that's it. Well, this is my destination. I, um, I normally walk along here and uh, A little, there's a little nearby just here. I'm just going to park in between these cars. Oh, you can't. There's a gate. Oh, God. This is where I normally walk to when I walk from Hexham. If you follow the videos, you'll see I've made a couple to this pub called the Boat House. There's a uh, there's a river, it's looking quite uh, running fast and deep the day. So, um, but just beyond this pub, there's a walkway I spotted, and that's where I want to. That's why I'm starting my walk from here. It just starts in this corner here. And goes along there. So here we go and find out where it ends up. 
I think this, uh, yeah, here's a train coming. So I'm just above the railway line actually. Not sure where this walk's going to end up like it's just like a single track at the moment. Little sign saying public footpath, so we're in the right direction anyway. Another train. There it is down there. So the footpath basically ended up with two houses or four houses and I think it carries on along there somewhere but I couldn't find it so uh, looks like it's not going to be much of a walk anyway so it wasn't very far at all uh, it was just along there really just along there the bridge where I crossed over with before, it's just a quarter mile up here. So I think it'll be um, a drive to Hexham after all. And uh, do a bit walk from there. Hopefully not nearly get hit by a golf ball again. I'm back on the bridge. I'm parked just round the corner. There's a guy standing in the water down there, fishing. I'm going to get the other camera out and see how close I can get to him. Yeah, it turned out good. What did you think? Um, it's, uh, you could see the features on his face, you know. I'll have a quick look over this side before I finish crossing the bridge. Yeah, it's flowing faster, dear. For sure. Oh. Nearly stepped out in front of a car. So on your path on one side, you see, that's a problem. I just came over the railway line there, where I normally stand and watch the trains. And uh, I've never been over before, so it's like a little road here. And uh, I'll just venture up here. It's heading back towards Hexham, so I presume that's where it'll end up in Hexham somewhere. Obviously, railway line's just here. Golf course just over the railway line. And uh, I'm heading up back towards Hexham. I remember when the COVID kicked off. Um, I was down at the railway crossing and a guy wouldn't walk past us 
with his wife and he says we'll go up and we'll go to the underpass so there it is <clears throat> just comes out onto the golf course so uh, something new well I've just came through I'll go up here. Bit dangerous, this thing, because it's on the side of a golf course. And obviously, a few weeks back, I nearly got hit. And it wasn't a very good experience, I tell you. Little river here on the golf course. And somebody's chucked the door in it, and another piece of wood. Tell you this, you're finding, tell you what I'm finding a lot of now, uh, masks lying all over the place. Uh, you know, that's the new rubbish if you like. You just don't understand people at times, like really, why they do it. I don't know what this building is, maybe this is the the golf club itself. I think it's actually a cafe, when I come to think about it. Because there's a sign, as you come into the parking area, what says something cafe. And uh, that might just be it. Yeah, it's a cafe. And the golf club at the same time. So, uh I'm now back on the on the road to where I'm parked. Quite a way along, but because uh, I'm parked more near the entrance, and this is the far end. I've never been up here, but uh, there's a sign for the golf club anyway. Tyndale Golf Club. 